Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. I am Siti Narhanan Yuandar and today our topic for engineering economics is about the concept of equivalence chapter 2.2 under money time relationship and equivalence. So again, I am Siti Narhanan Yuandar, your first presenter from BSCE 2A that will introduce to you about the concept of equivalence. So, concept of equivalence. So, the concept of equivalence is based on the understanding of both the time value of money and the interest. So, pinag-usapan dito yung um, value ng ating time and the value of the money na nag, uh, nag-change because of the interest na napag-usapan between um, dalawang sides. So, it is established when we are indifferent between the future payment or a series of future payments and the present sum of the money. So, um, pinapakita dito sa concept of equivalence yung pagbabago-bago ng ating money from the present to future payment and the series of future payments because dun sa interest na napag-usapan and was also um, first um, explained sa chapter 2.2 interest and the time value of money. So, consider the comparison of alternative option or proposal by reducing them to an equivalent basis depending on. So, meron tayong apat dito where is ito sila yung nakaka-affect doon sa um, um, concept of equivalence and kung paano nag-change yung ating money from the present to the future. So, first here is Yun yung sabi ko kanina, which is interest or interest rate. Um, second is the amount or amount of money involved. So, syempre, um, mahalaga yung interest. And yung interest kasi is nakabase din siya doon sa present money na in-invest mo or um, ni-loan mo. Third here is timing or the timing of the affected monetary receipt and or expenditure. So, dito naman is yung kung kailan mag, um, magsa-start or kailan magsa-start yung effect ng ating uh, interest rate. And fourth here is the period or manner in which the investor or profit on invested capital is paid and the initial capital is recovered. So, ito naman ang pinag-usapan dito is kung kailan nakukompleto yung um interest rate natin. So, halimbawa na pag-usapan nyo doon is um, yung interest natin is yearly or monthly or weekly. So, para mas maintindihan pa natin, here is an example where is meron silang 14% interest. For example, if the interest rate is 14%, then MU100 today would be equivalent to MU114 one year from today and 2MU87.719 one year ago. So, halimbawa daw, meron tayong um, MU100 today. So, because meron tayong interest na 14% yearly, makakaroon tayo ng after a year ng MU114 as a total. So, kung ang titingnan naman natin dito is yung uh, year ago niya, so meron tayong 87.7719 total. So, paano ba ito siya nangyari? So, halimbawa, punta mo na tayo sa ago, meron tayong 87.719. So, ang mayayari dyan, uh, every year, madadagdagan yung value natin ng 14% nung present na value. So, halimbawa yung 87.719 um, mag-a-add ka ng 14% niya. So, 87.719 plus 87.719 multiplied by 0.14 or the 14%. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 99.999 or that is equivalent to 100. So, kung pag-usapan naman natin yung after that here is yung 100 madadagdagan lang siya ulit ng ang um, 14% niya. So, 100 plus 100 multiplied by 0.14 or it's 14%. So, magkakaroon tayo after a year na 114. 
So that is the simple example for the concept of equivalence. So the next reporter will explain to you kung paano ba mas nakakalculate or um, nade-define or nabibigyan ng good example yung concept of equivalence. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum and have a blessed day everyone. My name is Bayasra Ibanzil from BSC 2A and I am the second presenter of today's report. So let's begin. Before I will proceed to the example, I will introduce first the basic part of this topic, the concept of equivalence. So we have the year or years, the amount owned at the beginning of the year, the interest, the total money owned at the end of the year, the principal payment, and the total end of the year payment. Those were the six basic parts of the concept of equivalence. Now, let's define the following parts that I mentioned before. Let's start with the total money owned at the end of the year. It means that it is the combination of amount owned at the beginning of the year and the interest indicated. Amount owned at the beginning of the year is the amount of the money in each indicated year or years. Principal payment is a payment made on a loan. Interest is the payment from borrower. Total end of the payment. Total end of the year payment is the combination of the principal payment and the interest. Year or years is the indicated period of time in the repayment plans. Now, let's move on to the example. Plan number 1, $2,000 of loan principal plus 10% of principal paid at the end of the year Interest paid at the end of each year is reduced by $200. So what is the economic equivalence in four repayment plans? So from the given question, what is the economic equivalence in four repayment plans? You have already the idea that you have four years, year one, year two, year three, and year four in terms of repayment plans. So, in year 1, the amount owned at the beginning of the year is $8,000. The interest acquired for that year is 8,000 times 10% or 8,000 times 0.10 is equal to $800. So, the total money owned at the end of the year is 8,800. So, this is the sum of the amount owned at the beginning of the year and the interest acquired for a year. So the principal payment is the payment made on a loan, which is here in our problem, the $2,000 of loan principal. So put it there in principal payment. So the total end of the year payment is the combination of the principal payment which is 2000 and the interest which is 800 so you have already 2800 so in year 2 the amount owned at the beginning of the year will become 6000 then the interest times 0.10 or times 10% which is 600 the total money owned at the end of the year is 6600 because it is the combination of the amount owned at the beginning of the year and the interest acquired for a year. And the principal payment, the same as what we do in the first one, which is the 2000 And the total end of year payment is 2600 which is the combination of the principal payment and the interest. So, the same thing with the year 3 and year 4 then at the end of this discussion the total interest paid which is two thousand dollars is equal to ten percent of twenty thousand on the total dollars of the four repayment years so yun yung economic equivalence niya which is the total interest paid na two thousand dollars ay after four years niya daw ay magiging the same value pa rin siya or magiging equal pa rin siya 
dahil sa 10% of 20,000 na makikita dito sa amount owned at the beginning of the year in the four repayment years. That's all po, Sukran.